All right, so, hey, this is David again. Um, I, uh, I kind of felt compelled to uh, get right into another video. Um, I'm gonna make these probably about five minutes. I'm making them on the phone. So uploading them takes a little bit of time. Uh, and uh, I think five minute videos are probably best anyway. So a little bit about uh, what I discovered as I studied our inalienable rights um, uh, but let, let's let's go ahead and go back I alluded to a whole lot uh, when I got to videos in uh, or got to the rights uh, in our first uh, in the first video uh, alluded to quite a few things I said oh but that's a question that's gonna be answered later this can be answered later so let's um, kind of start at the top uh, again, I'm just going to try and make this real quick. Each point, I'm going to try and focus on a single point. Uh, the first one, and I got a lot of objections when I started talking about the Declaration of Independence, uh, the U.S. Constitution, and uh, the Bill of Rights. So, we oftentimes, we refer to the Constitution, what we really mean are the Bill of Rights, because that's where we actually say, um, well, First Amendment. We have uh, affirmed the uh, freedom, you know, that we have freedom of speech. Ah, therefore, we have the right to speak the truth. And we can also say other things, nice, kind, uh, ugly, indifferent, it doesn't matter. Really, we, we have the ability to speak. I can say whatever comes to mind here, comes out here. I can speak. God did that for a reason. Why? Well, he wanted me, one, to be able to verbally, orally give him praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Right? Uh, it means I don't have to keep it all bottled up right here. That means that things come out of my heart. God, Jesus said it's not what goes in a man that defiles him. It's what comes out. We have the right to speak truth. Um, so, Again, uh, I'm going to be going back and forth between those things, but you know, we we have this Bill of Rights, and uh, in the Bill of Rights, I'm, I'm talking about the ten, the first ten. Don't even get me started on why we have to have another two and a half pages of amendments. To be honest. Because if you really realize, you know, what these other amendments are telling people, that, um, hey, it really doesn't matter what color you are, you're a person. And you have the same inalienable rights as everyone else. Right? Common sense. We had to tell the Democrats that because you're black doesn't mean you're not a person. Yeah, let it sink in. I see colors. I see the differences in God's creation, and he let me see color for a reason. Yeah, okay, so you can tell this is a very passionate subject for me. I want to be, I want to be open and honest with everybody out there. I love you. I don't care what color your skin is. I don't care if you worship God or not. If you worship Allah, Buddha, Satan, I don't care. I'm going to love you. Doesn't mean I have to agree with everything you say, though. And I'm not going to call you uh, bleep, bleep, bleep if I disagree with you. But I will shake off, shake the dust off my sandals if I, if I find that we're at an impasse and we're not going to have a reasoning conversation with each other. So... The Declaration of Independence tells us, I'm going to have to make this real quick, I might have to have another uh, uh, video in a second, but the Declaration of Independence is important. It tells us why, or, or uh, yeah, why we need a Constitution. The first part of it is an, introdu an introduction, an abstract of what they, our founding fathers, believed about our rights where government ends and individuality and self-governance begins 
and where it can't not be encroached. And then if you really want to understand what the whole first part of the Declaration of Independence is about, you've got to read the list of charges against King James. Yeah, read those and then come back and tell me that you're oppressed here. Come on, bring it on, I challenge you. So, real quick, Declaration of Independence is like the foundation to a building. You're not going to go build a frame without a foundation, something solid to put it on, immovable. Jesus says the wise man builds his house, his foundation is on a rock, not the shifting sand. If you take away the Declaration of Independence, you lose a foundation. You, you lose the meaning for even having a structure in the first place. The Constitution, those articles are the structure, the framework. That's why we call it a framework. So what's the Bill of Rights? What are all the amendments? They're the doors, windows, walls, you name it. This tells you how to manipulate, go through that framework, how we deal with each other. All right? Okay, I'm out. I'll see y'all. There'll, there'll be another one coming. I hope y'all enjoy this. Give, give me some comments. Let me know what you think. God bless.